Hey guys, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to address the lips and we're going to enhance them by making them pop a little bit, changing the color, adding some contrast. Let's start by duplicating the background. We could do it two ways. We could either hit Command J or drag the uh, layer to the new layer icon. We'll name this face. You can name it anything you want. And I like to use a help layer. We uh, go ahead and click the new layer icon and call it help. And we'll change over to the brush tool. We'll change the color to red or anything really that stands out against the image. And we're going to basically make a road map of the things that we want to address and fix in this particular edit. And we just kind of point out a couple things here that we'll refer to occasionally throughout the entire process, including some of the uh, curvature of the lip here and some of the cracking and the dryness of the lips. So we can hide that and we'll get back to it. We want to create a new layer called Healing and this is where we're going to make our uh, edits through the Healing Brush. Just go up to the Band-Aid and uh, select the Healing Brush. So let's go ahead and start doing that. And We're just going to go ahead and touch up the things that we noticed in the uh, roadmap there, the Help layer, and I'll get back to you in a few seconds. Okay, we'll do a little comparison before and after. And if we're happy enough with those edits, we could uh, select both layers and hit Command E to merge the two layers. And we'll call this layer Edits. Now we're going to go ahead and use the Lipify tool. So let's go with the Lasso tool, select the area around the lips, and we're going to Command J to bring it on its own layer. We'll call this Lips. Let's go up to Filter and Liquify. Zoom in a little bit so we can see better what we're doing. And you want to make sure the Advanced Mode is selected. That gives you more options, of course, and uh, some of the ones that we'll be using, including the Freeze Mask. Just make the brush a little smaller and select the Freeze Mask. And basically what we're going to be doing is uh, just holding an area that we don't want to affect and we're going to paint in uh, exactly that, a freeze mask, and this just really keeps the uh, warp tool from affecting this particular area. Let's go up to the warp tool and make it a little bigger brush and we're going to round this up a little bit. The key to quality editing is subtlety. So you want to really build up to it. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Use the warp tool, smaller brush. And of course every image is going to be different so you'll have to adjust accordingly. And by clicking the show backdrop you can see the before and after of the uh, image and the editing with the liquify and the image that's below. So if we're happy enough with that before and after we can select the layer beneath it with the shift key and command E to merge the two layers. Refer back to our help, see if there's anything else we want to address. Let's go up to the channels palette and we're going to find the channel that has the most contrast. We're going to use the calculations to make a selection and a layer mask and it looks like blue seems to be the best so we'll go back to RGB and we're going to go up to image calculations we want to make sure that because we decided that the blue is the best channel that in the channels drop down box the blue is selected in both source 1 and source 2 and make sure they're both inverted we have a couple options here so we'll stick with new channel and there's the alpha created an alpha 1 channel Hold the command key and click on the layer mask, or the, rather the channel. It'll create a selection for us. Now we're going to add color to the image. Go down here and Alt and then Solid Color. That brings up this dialog box. We'll call it Lip Color. 
and we want to use soft light in this particular case you'll have to uh, experiment on your particular image and see which one works best for you here's where we select the color I think we're going to do like a deeper red and naturally the entire image is being affected by the uh, color selection that we're doing but we'll address that in a second and if you want to change the color you click on the color tab there once and you can go ahead and change to whatever you like now we're going to do the same thing we're going to hit command and select the layer mask we're going to adjust curves so we're going to a layer adjustment and select curves make it a little deeper and darker with this curve adjustment let's hide that properties we're going to select both of these and we're going to create a new group and we're going to hold the shift key and the new group icon and that put both of those layers in the same group we're going to call this edits now we're going to create a layer mask we're going to hold the alt key and hit the new layer mask and you can see we created a layer mask and it created a black layer mask so it's hiding everything so let's go up to the brush and we're going to paint back all the edits that we just made. I want to go with a soft brush at first and build up from there. Make it a little larger here. Left and right bracket keys to enlarge the brush. We just want to paint back using the uh, layer mask. We want to paint back the two edits that we have in the uh, underlying uh, edits. Go ahead and give it 100% now. Now we can fill it in. and if you hold the alt key and select the layer mask it'll show you just the mask and now we can fill in and see what we were missing and this is why it's great to put all these edits in the same folder you can show and hide the edits and by holding the shift key and selecting the layer mask you'll see what difference that layer mask makes and it'll hide the effects of the mask if we want to change the color we can we just click that color tab once show and hide and before and after let's zoom in and see what we've done so far and there you go it's a little darker a little deeper for illustrative purposes I think this uh, adjustments fine and you can change it to however you want and if you want to download the image and try your hand at it, it's ediblephotos.com. I'll put the link in the uh, description below. And you can see, and now you just tweak it, and because every effect is in a different layer, you can custom it to whatever you want, to your desire. And there you go, before and after. out the layer mask shift and click in the uh, layer mask shows and hides them now you can just adjust it accordingly layer opacity just to your liking whatever suits you and uh, follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash 954 photos or on Twitter at twitter.com slash Ribeiro Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos.